Welcome back to the War of an Aaron's Children. And being that this is Tim's second session, I will be introducing warm up oh. questions. Oh, fuck. That's right. That's right. So, Tim, the only one yeah. here. Hello. What is your character's opinion on nobility? At the current moment, he. I would say that Ronan is kind of indifferent. They've mm -hmm. always existed, and his family has been having a rough time due to the last queen. Yeah. But uh, overall, he's just like he's pretty indifferent. But especially with um, this current, you know, with Francis, you know, being on the title, he's he's all about Francis. But yeah. the other ones, he's a very negative opinion of. That's so fair. Far. That is fair. Next question: Where in the world does your character most want to visit? Most want to visit. Let me double check the map real yeah, quick. Go ahead. Give it a look. See, it is Cause... a big one. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> let's see here. Now we where we're already at. Yeah. Denicia and Glataria kind of feel like the same. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, Wineland. Probably hearing about rumors about dragons and such. Uh, that probably. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Just for the vague possibility. Honestly, it surprised me when anyone chooses anywhere except Wineland. You know, to be honest, <laughs> it is based. So. I mean, second. I mean, second would probably be. Hmm. Is Hakai around? Are we currently like? Yes. That... Yes, Hakai currently exists. I mean, that that feels like it would just be a huge, like, change of uh, scenery. The scenery would be very different. And not only that, but, like, the Shatterlings doesn't exist yet, so this whole, like, left side here is actually mm. part of Hakai. Hakai split into four states, ruled mm. by four different kings. So, <coughs> Hakai is a very interesting place to go. Um, but, yeah, good, an good answers all around. Good answers all around. And, finally... What is your character's greatest fear? His greatest fear? Yeah. I guess it's just, in general, his anything to do with his family. Um, mm -hmm. he, he Sort of like, he's afraid that his siblings, any of them getting hurt. And in a sense, he's afraid of his parents, at least trying to like interact him, especially after his most recent development. Yeah. So he's kind of afraid of just like even confronting them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so with that, last time we left off with Ronan, they had just started their adventure out to the not-yet-established nation of Glad Tadia. Though Francis has heard great rumors of a supposed-to-be king down there rebelling against the Donitians. Thus, we are currently making our way through the country of Donitia. Which, on the road again. Out of character, we'll know to be home to Jane and her family eventually. But for the moment, it's just a fucking hellscape. A war-torn hellscape. This place sucks. It does. It does. You, as you can see on the map and as your character experiences, the towns are very far apart from each other. Mm. Each of them with their own established tribe in it. So... We come across the. We're going to go ahead and move a, a little, a, a bit down south. Okay. As uh, you know, you're sort of casually riding along with Rohan and Francis and so on. When suddenly, a bunch of Denitians come out of the brush, donning some weapons sort of aimed at the party at this moment. And they're like, let's see some fucking hands. Ronan's immediately that jaws blades. Well, hold what? on. Hold on. Ronan, we don't want to... We're guests in this country. We have to remember that. Well, it's some kind of hospitality for them to point crossbows at us. To be fair to them... Their country has known non-stop war since the year 800. So, we'll have to just forgive them for being a little unfriendly. Gentlemen, 
I am Francis Covington III of Dimerell. I know that you're not too fond of us, Dimerellians, and we are not too fond of you. However, we are merely trying to pass through. We've made it this far without any aggravation. Why start now? I'm going to roll Persuasion for Francis real quick. Because this could be easy or this could be very hard. Let's find out. What's this? Ooh, okay. Okay, a 10. Yep. Um, so. They sort of lower their weapons at this point, but they say, We can't let you pass unless you speak to Lord Monroe. Oh, joy. Very joy well then. With his blades. We will speak to Lord Monroe. Where, where might we find him? He'll be waiting for you in Mount Mint. Just that way, west. Very well then. Gentlemen, we're going to Mount Mint. Follow me. Francis kind of turns his horse and starts wandering towards the western side of Donicia. Ronan Ro does as well. Rohan kind of rides up beside Ronan's like, I don't know about you, but based off of everything I've read about the Donitians, I don't think this is going to end very well for us. Well, considering how hostile they already were, at least they didn't have the pleasure of just killing us on the spot, so maybe that we just... True. Maybe there's a hopeful silver lining that they won't be complete beasts. They could have just fired from the uh, bushel, I fear, but... Oh, well. Well, either way... I said Lord Monroe, so perhaps this is just maybe another ally that Francis could also make. We, could, we can hope. And you mosey up to the very small town of Mount Men. It's a small village uh, just bordering on the bottom of the mountains here. And you're escorted to Lord Monroe's hut. So he waits inside. You... Ro Rohan and Francis are all invited inside and Lord Monroe sits before you. <laughs> Francis kind of nods his head and he's like, Lord Monroe? I do not wish to speak to you. I wish to speak to one of your warriors. And this one looks like he might be one. Is he, he just gesturing me? towards Ronan. Yeah. Oh, me? Yes, you. Well, let's hear. Why should I let your foe leader here pass through my country unscathed? Let me double check real quick. Because we're. I'm getting the names except because we're. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say <laughs> he was about to be the hope of Denisha. Just like, wait a second. Hold on. Uh oh. That would not have ended well. Because <laughs> yeah. I genuinely believe that for Dimerel. He's the he's the most worthy, at least to take the throne. I'll follow him to hell and back. He saved my brother. And since he saved my own life. Would you be willing to fight for him? Already have. And I'll continue to. Will you do it here, today? My finest warrior versus you? If you'd wish. Victory grants you passage. Very well. I agree. The stipulations of this fight will be to the death. You understand that, yes? Understood. Very well, then. Have my men escort you to the pit. We'll be watching. Ronan's going to do like a curt salute to Francis. Mm -hmm. Francis salutes him back. No time like the present, as he'll just like walk up to the nearest soldiers and make his way to the pit. And sort of like slap Ro Rohan on the shoulder, mm -hmm. smiling. As he should, as he should. Okay, wonderful. So you're escorted to the pit. You see many of uh, many people already sitting in the stands. You see where Lord Monroe is obviously going to sit with Francis as they sort of wait to watch you battle. And you watch as. Uh, 
a gentleman enters the pit and goes, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, days and thems, we are gathered here today to watch a Donitian warrior, Yudo. They're like, yeah, fuck yeah, Yudo. Let's fucking go. Take on a Dimorellian knight in Ronan Ashford. Boo, this guy fucking sucks. Fuck you. Go Ronan's back to your country, kinda, trash. Oh, fuck. Ronan's kind of just like waving, like taking in the spotlight, even yeah. if they're fucking... <laughs> even if they're shitting on him. And thus... You, standing across from you, a man about a teenager, I would say, about your age, Ronan, stands across from you, a spear in hand, and thus, I would like for you to roll initiative. All right. Okay. Okay. Eight. All right, so you're up to bat. All right. Let's see it. Ronan's just gonna draw both of his blades and said, "Well, I hate for your sword to end like this." As he just immediately charges at him, yep. the sword in the air. All right, let's see the attack. Oh, twenty-one. Day. Roll damage. Nine damage. Damn. And okay. I'm just gonna use my bonus action to attack with my offhand. Okay. So, put twenty. That also hits. Roll damage. And full piercing. Okay, very well. So, okay. Okay. It's now his turn. And he's going to jab at you with a spear. Bam! With a 19 to hit. That'll hit. For seven piercing damage, he just stabs you with his, his spear at this point. And he says, yeah. For Denisha! Felt like Garen there for a second, actually. <laughs> For Demacia! Demacia! Alright. You're back up to bat, Tim. He does not have a multi-attack. Alright. I was just going to shove the spear aside and just keep on swinging at him. For that matter, he kind of fucking sucks because his only bonus ability is pack tactics and he has no allies, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, actually, for this one, I'll go ahead and use one of my... Fighting Spirits. Oh, okay. So I could get a. This next attack is going to be at advantage, and I gain how many temporary HP? Oh shit! Five temporary HP. Okay. All right. Sorry, my my roll twenty is slow as hell for some reason. It's all good, brother. Nineteen. That'll hit. Roll the attack. Eight piercing. Okay, perfect. He still stands before you. And that'll be my turn. Okay. This man will attack you with his spear once more. Huh! With a 20 to hit. That'll hit. That'll be for six piercing. Okay. All right. Okay, it's on you. Third verse, second as this, or <laughs> same as the second. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Twenty-two. Let's see the damage. Six piercing. Okay. And I'll do it with my offhand. A seventeen. That will hit. Nine piercing. And thus, how would you like to do this, Tim? <clears throat> Ronan will. As he's like probably like mid swing, Ronan's just gonna like just carefully take his hand blade and let him like run into his blade on the neck, mm -hmm. and not like a huge like huge gash on his neck, but enough to like kill him pretty instantly just by like slashing his throat. Mm -hmm. The arena goes silent, and then it erupts. Boo! He fucking cheated, and then. You can see Lord Monroe clapping and sh shaking Francis's hand. And Francis nods to Ronan. Ronan's currently cleaning his blade, but he'll take the time to salute 
As well as he's gonna go to the fallen boy and he's gonna grab his spear and like place it in his hands. Yeah. Sort of like burial, like mm -hmm. form of respect kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. And now you are outside the arena. And you have met up with Francis once more as you go. That was wonderful, Ronan. Great work out there. I won't make it a habit of failing you now. I knew I'd made a uh, a good decision in uh, knighting you. We'll have to get you officially knighted once I'm actually king. <laughs> well, I guess knights can knight other knights, but it just feels better when a king does it, you know? Uh, I could be patient. <laughs> That's good. So, do you think we should hunker down for the day, or should we burst all the way to Glad Tati and get our rest there. Uh, well, considering that we've already been ambushed once, I'd say it'd be... I'd say it'd be wise just to hunker down for the night and make the trek tomorrow. Very well, then. Sleep we shall have, then. I've got Very a couple well. huts picked out for us. Just pick one. Alright. Is Lord Monroe around? Not at this current moment, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well then, yeah. Did you want to speak just... with him? Oh, yeah. He would like to look for him just to ask about, uh, what was the name of the kid he just fought? Yudo. Yudo. Yeah, he just wants to ask about Yudo. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Lord Monroe, you can go back to his hut to find him again. He just sat in there, just chilling. Excuse the interruption, sir. What'll it be? Sir Ronan. Uh, well, I would just like to inquire about the boy I just fought. He seems skilled, but why choose him out of all your fighters? He was a great warrior, and around the same age as you. Wouldn't feel fair putting you against one of my veteran tribesmen. You wouldn't last seven seconds. Ronan is kind of like, his fist like clenches one of his blade hilts <laughs> at that, but he, he kind of just smiles, just like, ah, I see. Well, did he have family in town? I'd like to pay my respects. He comes from a long line of warriors, and warriors, unfortunately, don't live very long. So, there are I no see. respects to be paid, I fear. But, I'll put you in my prayer to the Elder Gods. And get Thank your you. message to his family that way. I appreciate it. Of course. He fought well. He did. Once you yeah. and your kingship are proceeding back through Donitia, feel free to stop here if you need anything. You've proven yourself a fine warrior today. No doubt we'll take you up on your hospitality once again. Excellent. I look forward to it. And I hope you have great tidings in battle here as well. Oh, I believe we will. I believe we will. Yeah. Ronan's just gonna, like, salute and then just walk out of the tent and choose one of the huts to shack up in. So, hunker down for the night. Chillin', vibin', doing what have you. Uh, the following morning, things are rather rudimentary, I'll say, and you are finally, you, you head out for the day, hmm. and you enter what is going to be the realm of Gladtadia. It's sort of still considered part of Donitia by this point, but with the way that things are going, a lot of people assume hmm. that, uh, they're already taking up the new moniker. It's going to fall into their favor, yeah. Um, yeah, and so you stop in Drycaster for a bit, which will be the first town you find. It's sort of a fishery kind of town. Uh, ah, yeah. just like home, eh, Rowan? It sure is. Maybe we need to set up shop here. Expand a bit, you know? Huh. <laughs> if we had the goal to. Well, we'll be I... working for a king soon enough, so I think we will. <laughs> that's true. The ice fishing, I believe, is going to be a little different than... Whatever the hell is here. Just you kind of like flabbergasted. <laughs> Probably like the more green scenery. Yeah. Glad Tadia is very like, very Greenland. Um, 
It's a beautiful, beautiful countryside all across the way here. Um, and after sort of making your way through Drycaster, you find yourself in Vaxta, which is where uh, the leader of the Gladtadian army, Gregorian Gentlewinds, is purported to be. Gregorian. Yeah. So, you make your way to the location that you believe him to be at. Francis sort of presents his credentials to the guards, and he's allowed inside along with you and Rohan. And once you make your way into what would be the throne room of this uh, castle that's still in the prospect of being built, you find, you see, a 13-year-old boy sat on the throne. So he goes, Welcome! My lords, what can I do for you? And Francis just kind of turns to Ronan and goes, Is that a teenager? That does appear to be what I see as well, my lord. Ronan? Yes, sir? I elect you our speaker. Proceed. Be. I. Oh. Okay. It's more your age than mine. Come on. Talk, talk his language. Yeah, but what the hell? I, I, I haven't really spoken you to someone. You stand in the presence of a king. A king who does not like to be kept waiting. <laughs> and uh, Ronan will step forward. Hello, I am Ronan Ashford, knight of King Francis. And we're here to petition you for your favor. My favor? For what, exactly? Support to the di... Dimerillion throne, my lord. Hmm. And what... What makes this man here claim to the throne? Last I heard, the queen up north had no children. In a recent decree, he, she announced three of her bastard sons all rights to the throne. Hmm. One being Francis and his brothers. I see. I can understand inheriting inheriting the throne. I had to do it for my father when he passed during this war. And I've since had to oversee the war moving throughout. Very well. I am willing to give you some soldiers if you are willing to hear out my proposition. Of course. I have recently entered into a pact with the nation of Wineland. We have a peace pact with each other and we will support each other in times of war, which is how I'm, I've been able to beat back the Donitians so well. If Di Morel enters into this pact along with Gladtadia and Wineland, we will support Francis' cause. Ronan's gonna like look back at King or at Francis, mm -hmm. sort of like, well, Lord, is Francis that agreeable nods. to you? We 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 can agree to those terms. Yes, yeah, certainly. Ronan just turned back. This is uh, these grounds are acceptable. Excellent. I will offer you a large chunk of soldiers. After the war is over, you will return these soldiers to me, plus 10,000 more. Plus 10,000 more? Mm-hmm. I will give you 50,000 to begin with. And as I understand it, Dimerel has one of the largest armies in the world, so you should have no problem ba sending me back 60,000. Ronan again look, sort of like looks back, he's just like... <laughs> That'll be a logistical problem for later, so let's agree to it now. Okay, right and sort of like, okay. Yes, once again, we agree. Excellent. Well, with this newfound friendship, I feel like it's necessary for us to hold a celebration, a bash, a party of sorts. I ask that you and your soldiers attend and dress nobly, I hope. 
Ronan kind of goes like pale white at that notion. <laughs> He's just like, ah. <laughs> and Ro uh, Ro Rohan just interrupts and goes, we, we will, of course, attend, sir. We will happily come to this party. Most excellent. I look forward to seeing you all. We'll meet back here when the moon, when the moon strikes seven. Be safe. Thank you for your time, my lord. And yours, Sir Ashford. Francis and Rohan and Ronan all walk out of the place and go. And Francis says, What the hell was that? I don't know. It's the youngest ruler I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of rulers. Well, as he said, I suppose they had to make do with what they had. Well, good on that, honestly. Um, I mean, so far, the, he doesn't seem... He seems level-headed for his age. I suppose you have to be if you inherit an army at the age of 13. However old he is. Um, so, we have to party tonight. Indeed, and j j dress up. <clears throat> I suppose you'll be borrowing some of my attire then, Ronan. If you wouldn't mind, sir. Not at all. Not at all. Besides, we need to do whatever we can to attain as many allies as we can, and if we get Wineland on our side, well, I think this war's a shoe in Two granted, allies for the price of one. Granted, we have to get boats across the ocean and letters over to them, but if Wineland will support us, I think this war is just simply one. They have dragons, so. Dragon? Or they're rumored to have dragons. Oh, wow. It may just be a metaphor for their military force, I think. I mean, <laughs> has anyone ever seen dragons? <laughs> Not I. No, no, and I don't think we will, hopefully. But it's good to have someone whose legend says they have dragons on your side, at least. Make your brothers surely uh, second-guess their propositions or their dispositions. I, I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I, well, we should set up camp here, I suppose. And then we'll get dressed for the party tonight, and then we will attend the party tonight. Sounds like a plan, sir. Very well. So, next couple hours spent setting up Francis's camp once again. Uh, you're given some time to rest here. If you want to give yourself a short rest, you're welcome to. Cool. And for the most part, yeah, it's just, it's super chill. Hella relaxed, to be honest. Very, very... We're vibing. Chill. We're you thriving. To, exactly. You get to throw on some noble garb for the party. Damn. And at the party, you, you, I mean, you're free to do what you want here. There's wine. There's games. There's uh, people around if you want to talk to anyone specific here. It's entirely huh? up to you. Well, yeah. I guess Ronan will grab a glass of wine mm -hmm. and kind of just like he, he's not really the most sociable type so mm -hmm. he'll like join in conversations but he's not like trying to like fully like lead them or like he's just like more listening right right okay I got you I got you yeah the party passes without incident Francis is awarded 50,000 men by uh, Gregorian and as you're hunkering down at the camp at night, you hear the sound of a horse riding up to camp. And you see a messenger arrive and goes, Ronan and Rohan Ashford? Ronan will, like, open his tent and, like, sit. I was like, oh. Come on. Uh, yes, that... I'm Ronan. Rohan? Rohan comes out of his tent and goes, What? Apparently we have a message. Giving me a headache. Oh, <laughs> probably mail from home, maybe. Possibly. So Rohan's handed an envelope, which dons Todric's sigil on it. The hell? 
Why the hell would he message us? I don't know. I don't like this. He opens up the letter. Opens up the envelope. Gets the letter out. <sighs> and you can see, like, a myriad of emotions come across Rohan's face, but you see, like, anger distinctly, as well as some sadness. He's like, DAMN IT! What? What's happening? What does it say? I don't really think I should tell you, in all honesty. You can't just do that to me. You're much less level-headed than I am, Ronan. Especially about our sisters. Did that bastard do anything to them? Todrick's taking Yuna from Ashbourne. Yuna? Why Yuna? He kidnapped her. He's using her as leverage. What does he want? Our fealty. And Francis's. Ah, the bastard's head! Hold on, Ronan. You have to remember why we took up arms in the first place, was to not kill Todrick. And he promises no harm to Yuna. So long as we comply. So what? We're just gonna... Turn our back on Francis and join him? No. No, we won't do that, but we have to work something out. They have our sister. Yes. So what? We comply with what he says for the moment, or... I don't know. I don't know. Can't exactly negotiate this. No doubt he just wants to get to you. And that is absolutely what it is, I fear, but... What can we do? Truly. <sighs> We're halfway across the world at the moment. We can't get word to our family. We certainly just can't ride back to Dimeral at this point. Hmm. I don't know. Should we tell Francis, or...? You tell Francis. What are I'm you going to do? I'm too exhausted by all this. I'm going back to my tent. And I'm going to think very hard about the situation and what we should do next. Okay. Let me know if, if you need me. Alright. Get some rest, brother. I will. Alright, uh, so you head to Francis' tent and find him and Gregorian drinking inside of it. It's Ronan's and that's sort of like when I told her. Oh, oh. Ronan. Uh, Ronan's like stepping in, just sort of like more casually, but then like sees both of them. It's like, oh, apologies, sirs. Oh no no no, Ronan, please come in. We're, this is a casual affair at the moment. We're, we were just chatting about, you know, sharing war stories. Oh, I see. War stories. Yeah. Well, Gregorian's talking about his father's war stories. Gregorian slayed a couple people in his time already. Oh. Hmm. No doubt you'll become one of the finest swordsmen. Oh, well, already are one of the swordsmen on the continent, sir. <laughs> Thank you for that, Sir Ronan. <coughs> you come bearing news, I assume? Or you just wanted to join in the chats of revelry and war time? I, I do have a message for you, sir. Very well. How does it read? Well, it was sent to... Rohan and I, and we just got word that Todrick has kidnapped our baby sister. He demands that her safety is only guaranteed unless he and I join him. So what do you plan to do? I don't know, sir. I know counterintuitive to your own thoughts on your brother but I would see the bastard dead for doing this to her but I understand I Rohan's just more level headed we we just don't know what to do we can't just leave her here there but being all the way down here what can we do would you like to ride back ahead of us if you'd permit I do. Yep. Go. Pursue your sister as you must. Very well. If Make it comes your way to, to Ashbourne term. as well. I heard there was 
quite a uh, battle that unfolded there, so maybe perhaps that's where you could start with your investigation. A battle all the way up in Ashbourne? Yes, yeah, Todrick and Darren drew swords at each other there, it seems. What the hell? And after the battle concluded, of course this is rumor and I can't speak to the truth of it, but apparently after it concluded, anyone who didn't support Darren in Ashbourne was executed by Darren's forces. You just see Ronan go, like, pale. <laughs> so I'd like you to make your way up there and see what you can recover and then try to find your sister. Safely, I hope. Yes, sir. We'll do what we can. And right. we'll come back. Alright, you've got your orders. Head out. Sir. And Ronan's gonna immediately like, run out and go to Rohan's tent. Mm hmm. Rohan! Sitting there. What? Yes, what? Even more shitty news. I'm listening. Apparently, the brothers duked it out at Ashbourne. As in Apparently. Darren and Todrick? Yeah. Okay. And it was Darren that ordered the execution, right? Yes. And the bastard Darren... Order the execution of anybody who didn't pledge fealty to him. Well, you don't think that that means our family would have... But still, I don't know what they would have done. And I mean, the rumors about us being with Francis are probably already spreading throughout the country, so maybe... It's entirely possible he just assumed our whole family is Francis' supporters. Either way, we need to get up there, Rohan. Francis gave us permission right ahead. You want to leave the camp? Without what can soldiers? we do? If we can just ride up there and confirm the situation, I don't know. If we fought it out, you know, might get caught in the crossfire either way. And it's we still need to check on Yvette, mother and father. Well, you know that father would be a Darren supporter, in any which case, because he's a traditionalist to the end, so... I'm sure he'd be fine, but yes, I suppose we have to go check on our family. Should we take our horses or a wagon or what's the plan here? Yeah, if we take two horses each, we could probably ride ahead so we'll switch off. Okay. Let's do it then. So he gets up from his chair at this point and follows you. Yeah. All right. the prep, prep the horse. All right, and the horses are prepped, and Rohan and Ronan ride off into the night. This is going to be a bad idea. <laughs> As we're going to have yet another, you heard it, ba -da -ba, time skip. Oh, fuck. That's right. You, by this point, I would say Ronan's probably 19 years old at this point. Okay. Probably been about two years. Um, you're not quite at Ashbourne yet. I would say you're currently in the town of Silverkeep. Silverkeep. Okay. Is there a link to the um, map that should be more zoom in? Uh, but you can also download the images. In fairness, um... Oh, okay. Let me just do that. Yeah, that's what I seem to do. <laughs> but Silver Keep's, like, the first northernmost town. It's the first one that sort of enters the, like, forestry kind of er area. Oh, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, right above Blackpool. So I'd say that you're there. I'd say you're in a tavern. You're sat imagine... by yourself at the moment. Go yeah, on. and... Ronan's probably wearing, like, a cloak over him, just to... Mm -hmm. Trying to keep on the down low. And a lizard folk comes and sits next to you. And he goes, You know, the cloak only makes you more suspicious. Oh, well, it's, it's cold up here. I thought it would help me blend in. It sure does, Mr. Ashford. So... You want something with me, or...? Yes. I want something with you, and your brother, and Francis. 
Ronan's sort of like gripping at his blade is like who do you support? Publicly or privately? Neither or. Publicly, I support Darren. Privately, I support whoever is going to be the victor of this war. Hmm. My name is Shenko. I'm a spy master for Darren, and was a spy master for Queen and Aaron as well. For Darren. Hmm? Uh, he's just like, for Darren. Mm-hmm. So is there a reason you haven't informed me yet? That I'm here? Well... Todrick and Darren are kind of currently fighting over your sister. Darren believes that if he can get hold of... Yuna... Then he'll have a hold over you and... Rohan. Or if he can make it look like she died in Todrick's care, then there'd be no coming back for Todrick. I unfortunately feel as if I'm on the losing side of things, Ronan. It's going that poorly for Darren, is it? I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for a couple of Francis men saving me over by East Hollow when I'd been captured by Todrick's people. And Todrick? What, what has he been doing? He's waiting. He has an entire army at his side. Just waiting to use it. I know Francis is in the south with 50,000 men. And I know that you're here to go look for your sister. I unfortunately can't guarantee her safety. But I do want to help you. If you'll allow me to make a trade. What would that be? I want to give you Cyprin Gorehart. Cyprin Gorehart? Mm hmm. She's been in charge of the City Watch for years in Vecna. She's one of the most loyal people you could ask for. And I'm afraid that when push comes to shove with Darren. Cypern won't make it out alive. I Go see. Over there. Maybe not me. But I know that Francis will need someone on his council who's smart and loyal and trustworthy. And Cypern's mm -hmm. that. Uh, well. Discuss my terms with Francis. All that I ask for when the war is over is banishment. You no wish to execution. be banished. Hmm. I would technically be a traitor of the crown if Francis won. I have little doubt that he'd forgive you, especially for this. Yes, but how many of his followers would? All right. I'll talk to. I'll talk about all this with Rohan. Very well. And discuss it with Francis once. The terms are met. He can send a raven to my room in the castle. All right. I'll await his word. And we'll make the trade then. I know you're going to Ashbourne. There we are. I don't know what you'll find there, because I was taken from Ashbourne during the battle, so I don't know about the aftermath. But you don't. You don't recall how, how much... how destroyed it was? The battle was ongoing when I was taken. I never saw what it looked like after the fact. But Sodrick used a lot of explosive magic that day. Mm. <sighs> Ronan sort of just breathes. Alright. In any, in any regards, thank you for all this. Of course. As he sort of like reaches out a hand. He shakes it, and he says, And if Darren killed your family, I'm sorry. He stands up and walks out at this point. Ronan's probably going to finish up whatever drink he probably had at the bar, and then mm -hmm. he's going to go to find where Ronan is, or uh, Ro Rohan is. Yeah, Rohan sort of stood outside the bar at the moment, just kind of keeping guard. 
That brother. one cup of ale took you forever, brother. Uh, well, it was a. Uh, I had to take it sip by sip. I got information from someone who? named Skenku. Shanku. Shanku as in the spy master? Indeed. What does he want? He's a goddamn Darren follower. Uh, he's a more uh, whoever wins the war kind of follower. Just threw in with Darren at the beginning. Telling me how much of a... Uh, apparently it's not going good for them. Is that right? He was there at Ashbourne whenever he and got captured by Todrick. Hmm. And... What does he want? He was talking about some kind of deal. Okay. Uh, just out of character. It was for, um, what, it was our sister for? Or, it was, to get, it was, it's getting Cypher into, um, to Francis. Francis. Yeah. Yeah. And what was that exchange for? Just finding Yuna, or was that, He's uh, getting Cypher, to be honest, because she's a uh, great advisor and lawyer. Well. She'd be a great asset to your side. Mm hmm. Well, honestly, it was more of an offer. Mm -hmm. He wanted to make sure that someone named Siphron would join us. She's apparently the captain, the guard captain at uh, Vecna. No, oh, City's Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with the name. Why? He's trying to he save just, her? Like, maybe. Was, he said that if she kept her lots within with Darren at this point, it might just be a lot more dangerous for her. So what does she want us to what does he want us to do? Just bring her over to Francis' side? Just take her? I suppose. She won't come willing. Just make sure. <sighs> Ain't that always the truth? We have um, to convince her somehow, I suppose. We'll have to deal with this when we meet back up with Francis. For the moment, we need to get to Ashbourne and figure out what's happened with our family. Yeah. He couldn't... Like I said, he was there, but he couldn't tell me much of the state he got left in. We also need to head up there because some of the northern houses are debating on supporting Darren in his uh, journey to the throne. Really? Yeah. After what they did to Ashbourne? He apparently offered them independence from the crown if they supported his rise to the throne. Well, no doubt Francis would offer them the same thing. Well, of course, and on top of that... We're from there, so I'm sure we could talk it over with the, the Winsingtons. We have to get to Ashbourne first to do that. All right. Guess no sleep for us tonight. When do we ever get any fucking sleep? <laughs> he climbs on top of his horse and starts riding off towards Ashbourne. Yep. Run and we'll get on his and follow. And arriving at Ashbourne... It's uh, it's living up to its name. Oh the Ash, no! Anyways. Oh fuck. Um, the welcome sign sort of hanging off of the hinges. <coughs> you see, there's ash everywhere. Pretty much looks like Silent Hill in this bitch at the moment. Oh fuck! Like ash is falling from the sky. The town seems desolate, and you're having a hard time finding really anything at this point. No, no. As Ronan yeah. sort of like jumps off of his horse. It's just like standing in the middle of what was probably a street. Slow down, Ronan. This is just the residue of war. It's just how it is. It doesn't mean anything. Still. How could they do this? It's probably full of people, too. Well, we'll have to find them. Let's head to the fishery. You know that's where right. our family will be. Hopefully. Alright. And walking through the city, you start to see the signs of people rebuilding. Various buildings that were knocked down during this battle. Um, it becomes a lot less desolate the further you get into town, I would say. Mm. And finally you arrive at the fishery, which is damaged, but still standing. Well, oh, the whole thing's still standing. You know, if there was ever going to be a building that was going to survive a war, I figured it would be Dad's Fishery. Tch. 
We'd all sooner be dead and gone before this thing collapsed. Well, it took you two long enough to show up. Did you hear Yvette's voice called you from the fishery? She's standing in the front door. Yvette? Hey. As Ronan's early. A bow in her hand, <laughs> I was going to say. Yvette! As Ro Ronan sort of like jumps off of his horse and immediately runs towards her. We've been waiting years for you to come back, and now you come back after all this. Yeah, well, whenever I heard the city got caught on fire, I got a little concerned. Yeah, did you hear that they took Yuna? Or she's been That's missing, also why we're back. We haven't heard from her for months now. I know. Years, even. She's growing up in the care of some nut job. Yeah. That's my concern, too. I... She's a, she's a strong girl, but I wouldn't want Todrick breathing down her neck. And where were you two? Oh, we had to go down south. We, uh... Kind of threw in our lot with uh, Francis. How lucky. I'm a knight now. Oh. Is that what your huge goal was when you left here? Listen. After you murdered you Dad's worker? Are you all redeemed now? Big strong knight. Hero of the fucking land. Come to save us. I don't think anything's ever going to absolve me of that. No. No, it won't. But I'm glad you're here, at least. I'm glad you two are safe. Ish. Hmm. Let me go get Mother. She'll want to see you too, I'm sure. What about Father? Oh, you haven't heard? No. He's taken up arms. What? Him and the other northern houses are supporting Darren's claim to the throne. He's riding with him. He saw firsthand what the hell they did to Ashborn. He... <laughs> it's his throne by right, Ronan. The line of succession is to be respected, just like Father said. Oh, you too, you've hit. You can't just blindly follow him. It's not blindly. I'm following him because he is the rightful ruler, and I will not be a traitor to our country. Just like say Father said. This town lays in ruin because of the zealot that came down here. Because of that religious fuckhead who took our sister. Not Darren. Darren kept things in order. Got rid of the other traitors. He's doing good for this country. Can you say the same? When you headed down south to wherever you went? We had... Listen. Darren isn't the man you think he is. I'll get mother. You can speak with her. And your traitorous opinions. You bet he walks away at this point. Not really the re re reunion you had planned in your head, is it? Nah, it's about what I expected. Not from her. Maybe from Dad. She's just like him. And you. Stuck in their ways. Hmm. <laughs> I like to think I'm a little less stubborn-headed than them. Ronan. Rohan. Your mother emerges from the fishery. You're back and you're safe. Are you... That we are. You off to join your father, then. <laughs> Ronan's gonna, like, look back at Rohan and, like, look at his sister and be like, Yes, we were considering speaking to the nobles. Excellent. Well... Uh, excuse me. Lord Winsington's in his, uh, his castle, if you want to speak with him. I see. His father there, too? No, I'm afraid he's already rode down to Vecna. I see. Would you like some fish for the road? 
Yeah, it's Talking been a while. Immaculate carp today. Yep, let me get it for you, okay? And she walks towards the back, and Yvette stood there and goes, Lying to mother. For shame. I'll take moral quandaries from someone besides a 15 year old. <laughs> Very well then. I will keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> well. Regardless of anything, Ronan will sort of like put his head, his hand on her head. I did miss you. And I miss you too. Yuna misses you too. I'm sure she still <laughs> does. That Zelda hasn't uh, killed her. Don't worry. Your big brothers will get her back. You better. You better bring her right back here where she belongs. Can't run this fishery by myself. <laughs> How's it going, by the way? You have uh, managed to actually catch something? Last time I remember you were, uh, kind of bad at it. Well, actually, interestingly enough, um, before the Battle of Ashbourne happened, I had the leader of the city watch, Cypher and Gorehart, capture some fish for me. Cypher? Mm-hmm. She was looking for someone up here, I guess. Todrick had kidnapped someone she loved at that point, then traded, traded them out for our sister Yuna. Hmm. Well, oh, damn. Well, what can you tell me about her? What's she like? In that moment, frantic, scared, upset, worried, anxious. I suppose Just, that uh, checks out. But I got a sense of goodness from her. I think she wants to do the right thing. And I mean, she is. After all, she sided with Darren. Indeed. Uh, well, not that you would know about doing the right thing. Well then, hey, let me try to do the right thing right now. Yeah? There's always more chance that there's more life left. <laughs> That's what father used to say. I'm still breathing. I can still do that. something. Very well. Um, is there um, anything that you need put aside from the carp from us? I don't think so. Ron, you need anything? No, I'll be fine. The carp will do it just fine. You can give it wings and tins, though. Have that. Yeah. Have mom wrap that fish up for us. We'll come back and get it after we deal with the Winsingtons. All right. And they proceed right. off to the White Castle. Woo! -hoo. That's right. And you stand at the gates and they go, "What's your business here?" Oh. We're uh, we're here to meet with the lords of the castle. You have a I set am... meeting? No. Uh, we're, we're locals. We're from Ashbourne. Who are Hoping... you? Rowan kind of looks over at Rohan. She's like, should we just... Yeah, I think we just say it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm Ronan Ashford. And this uh, is my brother Rohan Ashford. That's right. Very well, then. Step back and we'll lower the gate. in front of you at this point. After you, brother. Alright. You are the knight. I don't think that'll be uh, such a grand title around these parts. Oh, from who I got it from. Yeah, well. We'll worry about that later. Alright. And thus, Lord Winsington meets you in the castle courtyard at this point. He goes, what do I have the pleasure of talking to two Ashfords for? Lord Whissington, we came to speak about your alliance with Lord Darren. Yes, he has offered us a great many things, and your father has seen to it that we will be committing to it. He has? Yes. He got rid of the traitors here in Ashbourne for us. Granted, the process was brutal, but necessary. 
And he's promised us independence once he takes the crown, which is all the North has ever wanted. But don't you see that Francis would do the same for us? He would gladly let us get our lands back. Where did Francis go when the war started, Ronan? He needed support. He didn't have... And he didn't become North because of what? He didn't. He couldn't support... He didn't have the same faculties as his brothers. He and needed yet, support. And yet he went far south to foreigners to ask for their their favor instead of lords of Dimeril. Instead of the noble families of Dimeril, he retreated south. Lords of Dimeril, you would you would see yourselves rid of that title once the war's over. Regardless, yes, he just would, because he's we have to the, govern ourselves up here. Because a, a king or queen has never thought of what the North goes through. What you know the North goes through. You were born and raised here, damn it. Regardless, us two northern boys came to him and he appointed us his hand and I his knight. He'd be, if we spoke with him, we could gladly vouch for us, for our lands, for our people. The people that you slaughtered just because they believed that someone else should inherit the throne. Because they were traitors. They would see us done over by that religious fuckhead who came up here and pillaged your birth city. What? What kind of, what kind of king, what kind of future ruler would that be to commit his followers to murder other people? A king who knows the way that his country is heading in. A king who understands that what needs to be done has to be done. Unlike your king who, the moment the war started, retreated south to gain favor with foreigners once again. Well, tell me, your king who just so happens to know the right way, mm -hmm. the most practical way, Yes. how is he currently doing in this war? Once we get enough northerners to ride south, I promise you, Todrick and Francis won't stand a chance against Darren's forces, especially with like, the help of the north. All you're doing is sending more of our sons and our daughters, our people, to die. So I should send them to die for a false king? Better the Instead of the true better, one. Better Francis than to be condemned to, Dar to Doran's failing army. Darren's army is not failing. You understand that he just had 10,000 soldiers come over from Hakai, from one of the greatest warlords this world's ever seen? Oh. So he petitions an outsider. After assistance. he petitioned the North. After he petitioned the lords of his own country. Yes, he sought refuge in foreigners, but he didn't automatically seek refuge in foreigners. And he allowed us to come to the decision that we wanted to support him as well. I'm just saying, but Darren isn't the man that you think he is. Who is he then? Enlighten He's me. He's, he's fully prepared to let our baby sister die. What are you talking about? Todrick has your baby sister, not Darren. His own spy master spoke to us. He told us his plans. He's prepared to... He's aiming to have Yuna die. To make it seem like it was Todrick's fault. It would be Todrick's fault. He took her from this land. Well, yes. Don't he trust me. There's no one else in this world that wants retribution for what he did to my little sister. But I don't think it's cut and dry that Todrick, at this point, from what I've heard of, D Dor of Darren, I don't think it's cut and dry that he simply just kidnapped her. Yes, there is, there is the, him to have the climate to hold that over me and my brother's head. Yes. But at the same time, why would he be okay with letting her die? One of us, a northerner, to willingly sacrifice her. If I go back on my fealty <coughs> to Darren, what's to stop me from going back on my fealty to any lord I swear my fealty to? Well then do this. Abstain from the war. Call your troops back. Let... Darren fight his own battle. As you said, he enlisted the help of the people from Hakai. 
Why should more northern men die? Let them protect what is here. And when the war ends, and if Darren is victorious and he sees the north betrayed him, what do you think will become of the north then? He won't win. You can guarantee that? I promise that. Roll persuasion for me, Tim. No, oh, fuck. Or... Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. N8. If only I had the samurai ability that gave me, uh, Wisdom as for persuasion rules. Damn, I say. Tell you what, give me one more. Roll. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> Seventeen. Beautiful. So, Lord Wensington kind of looks at you and goes, "Very well then." My soldiers will abstain from this war, but I can't speak to the other houses of the North, nor can I speak for your father. I know. I think he'll be a tad harder to try to convince. I don't think it will be possible to convince your father. You Ashfords are known for one thing. That's how goddamn stubborn you are. Hmm. Well, that's always made us useful, isn't it? Something like that. But, if you're wrong about this, it'll be your head, not mine. Yeah. Good. Now get out of my castle. Rohan's just gonna walk out. Rohan follows. Well, we somehow <sighs> came out of that alive. Yeah, I was half expecting us to get executed there and then. <sighs> All this, I don't know anymore. So what's the plan from here? <sighs> well, what is it now? Probably should find Francis. And get back to him. Probably be south Talk to about Cyphron. If he sets up camp there again with his 50,000 men that he has now. Is he planning to lay siege to Vecna? I think he's just looking for a place to rest up at the moment. But I See. think intimidating Vecna is a, a plus of setting up camp by it. Let's get down hmm. there then. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright. Away we go. And thus, our heroes make their way down south of Vecna, where they find Francis's camp. And they find Francis. Oh, looks like he survived the North. Some way, somehow. Excellent. What news do you bring me? Well, I managed to convince one of the houses in the North to abstain from the war. Excellent. Two out of Polish. three. Yes. Well, I wasn't able to speak with the other households, but... And as far as we checked on Ashbourne, family's safe, and... As far as reports go, Eunice still in the control... Er, under the prisonership of Todrick. However... We were approached by Doran's spymaster. Or at least I was. Yes. Hmm. Excellent. What, what does he have to say? Threats, I assume? No. He wished... Basically for the safety of someone named Siphon. The captain of the City Watch in Vecna. Okay. He wished for her to join us. Okay. As That's well as... Case. I say we take her down to Jadina when we get her. <clears throat> After that. 
we'll figure out what to do with her from there. Very well. Shall we meet this Shenku and Vecna then? Um, he's... He said to contact him to send a raven to his quarters. Very well, then I'll have it done. And we'll meet with him tomorrow. Very well. Alright. And once again, once again, the day comes and goes. And you can take a long rest now if you'd like, by the way. Nuts. Yes, sir. Get that back, and I get that back. So, uh, Shanku sends a raven back detailing his plan. You and Rohan and Francis are going to ambush Cyprin in, in, in an abandoned building on the south side of Vecna. After she's unconscious, you'll then move her out of Vecna and down to Jadina, where you can start questioning her. Sort of getting her allegiance and whatnot. So, you, Francis, and Rohan are all sat in the abandoned building at the moment. I wasn't feels, that much of an ambush type, you know. <laughs> feels rather clandestine, doesn't it? <laughs> used to read stories about people who would set up ambushes like this. Never thought I'd be one of them. Hey, isn't that living the dream then? <laughs> Something like that. Reminds me of, uh, oh, it's one of the old stories of Hakai. Have you ever heard about, uh, what was that leader's name? Let me see. He lived in Hakai. He wanted to unify them again, but they killed him during oh. prayer, I believe. Abbas. Oh Abbas al-Haki. He was the last Haki to be king. He tried to give more power to the kingship, and he got stabbed to death in the church. Mm. Well, if you ask me, it served him right. I mean, things were fine in Haki for years. Sultan the Hakai uniting such a large nation. It's kind of impressive, really. Hmm. That's true. Anyways. How are we doing this? You guys gonna take, Cy take Cypher down? Should I just remain sitting here? Oh, who said that? Was that Ro Rohan Francis. or... Francis. No, I think we should be able to handle this. Alright. Shanku will walk in first. He's going to apologize to Cypher, and that's when you attack. Sounds like a plan. Alright. He's a city guard. Probably shouldn't let her guard down that much. Just make sure you hit her hard when you hit her. Why is that? She's half Minotaur. I'm sorry, what? You didn't know that? No. Yeah. I figured everyone knew that. Cypher's pretty popular, I thought. To be honest, the first time I've been to Vecna was at your camp, outside. Oh shit, well, yeah, get ready. Cypher's half Minotaur, so you're gonna have to really go for it. Oh uh, well, I always like the challenge. Alright. Oh, the moon's about three, they should be here in a few. Alright. The door swings open, Shanku enters, you see Cypher walk in. She's exactly as... Uh, Francis described her. She's half Minotaur. And she looks at Francis and looks at Shanku and goes, Uh, Shanku, you want to tell me what's going on here? And Shanku goes, I'm sorry about this, Cyprin. And that would be Ronan's kill to hit the bitch. Alright. Ronan is... Rolling. I like to think that Ronan's like up in a rafter and just like jumps down. <laughs> yeah. Roll and yeah, he's something for me. Strike, strength, something, dexterity, whatever you want to do. Can I just use my blade, but like say that I'm hitting with my health? Yeah, 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 we can do that. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm also gonna use fighting spirit, so advantage. Oh fuck. Where's my? Oh, okay. An eighteen. Ooh, all right. You just had to roll higher than Leslie did, and you certainly did. Yeah. So, 
You hit her in the back of the head and she goes down. She's not unconscious yet and she goes, Shanku, what have you done? And Rohan starts like restraining her hands behind her back at this point. Um, and Shanku says, You never would have came with me if I had told you what was happening. I'm going to tell your wife, Theo, that you died in battle. I'm very sorry about this. You don't fucking touch her! Leave her alone! No one's going to touch her, but it's better for her to think that you're dead for the time being. Will someone hit her harder, please? And oh, Rohan I thought you were having a moment. <laughs> Rohan comes over with his long sword and just... Pop! <laughs> and Cyprin goes out. Unconscious as hell. Okay. <coughs> Let's get her moving, shall we? Yep. I got the legs. You got the head, Ron. Very well. Let's do it. Give me a strength roll. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'll take the 15 out of mine. Okay. Alright, so you carry her to a wagon. You guys transport her, take her over to Jadina. She's still not conscious. Put a bag over her head. Tie her to a chair. You know, the usual. Um, she awakens, and Rohan has kind of a brief conversation with her, explaining what's happening. And then Rohan turns to Ronan and says, Ronan, would you go get Francis, please? Yeah. And you two play nice. As Ronan <laughs> walks off. Okay. And you walk out. And Francis is, you know, he's kind of just about the to town. Looks over and he goes, yes. Uh, Rohan, wish for you. All right. Give me one moment. I've received word that we should be expecting. Oh, no. My lord. Shit. We have to leave. Go get Rohan. Leave Cyprin. Okay. Hurry. Yeah, all right. And Rohan's going to start running back. Rohan runs into you in the hallway at this point. Oh, what are we fucking running for? Is it exercise? Apparently we need to leave. What Francis do you mean? said Francis said we need to leave Cyprin behind. What do you mean leave Cyprin behind? We need her. Apparently something's coming. Uh, there's no time. Okay. Let's go. We don't have any fucking troops over here, so we got to move. Okay. And you run outside and you follow Francis and you hide in the bushel at this point. And you see Darren Covington along with Shanku, Augury, and his 10,000 Hakaians oh, riding into the town at this point. I am Darren Covington. Open this door now. Very well then. I'll get this one. Men, search the rest of the city. And anyone who's not one of ours, you know what to do. He watches, he kicks the door down and goes inside to Cyprin at this point. And Francis goes, we've got to get back to our camp. Think Shanku double cross us? No. No, I think Darren just really wants Cyprin back. Can and if Shanku did double cross us, we'll just kill him when the war's over. <laughs> we gotta get back that. to camp. Come on, Russ. Right. Quietly now. <laughs> Roll stealth for me, Tim. Oh, fuck. Not like this. <laughs> 14. Alright. So. You're making your way off with uh, Francis at this point when Ronan suddenly steps on a branch and it snaps beneath his feet. Oh shit. And three Hakaian soldiers turn and go You! Stop right there! Francis goes Fuck this, we're running. Alright. And thus, Rohan, Ronan, and Francis all take off into the forest at this point. Arrows being shot at them. As they make their moves. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw, Tim. Hey! Oh, that's eight. Okay. So. 
A arrow launches into the back of Ronan's leg at this point. But, oh, no. due to his adrenaline, it doesn't knock him over. Oh, nice. And Rohan comes over and helps stabilize him as they keep running into the forest. And that <laughs> is where we're going to end for today. Oh, shit. There you go. That is scene, I fear. Well, damn. <laughs> so, Tim, how are you feeling in and out of character? Um, I would say that in character, Ronan is, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of emotions right now. Yep. He thought his family, oh, his family might have died, but then he learned that his family's all taking the Doran pills, so that's not cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, he, it's kind of paranoid at the moment. <laughs> that's fair. Being involved in all this, uh, spy master bullshit, he's, he, he's just like, what's happening? What's happening anymore? <laughs> Why is he coming back? We just we knocked out this bitch and we got her and then we lost her and then. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I'd say that it's just like a complete com roller coaster for him at the moment. Yep, I can agree um, with that. I can agree with that. <clears throat> and out of character, I'm having a blast. Really fun. Ooh. I really thought that. I really thought that Leslie and I were about to just like, okay, yep, our campaigns are just connected now. They were. It was about to be, and then I made the decision. Sure. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I mean, it's fun just to see like the po points where like our characters could like have interacted and like it's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fun that you guys are the ones that knocked Leslie out last session. Oh yeah. It's kind of funny. Is yeah. that like you just let let that up? Yeah, I mean, I I didn't describe the people who knocked her out. So mm -hmm. when we got there, I was like, well, they get to be part of the ambush now because they're here. Oh, hey. I mean, shit, they may as well. I mean, hey, it's fun that we I uh, managed to like fit into that piece of like the story to hers, <laughs> even though her session already's happened. So, and I mean, Lindy's carting around your sister at the moment. So, I yeah, I figured that was probably <laughs> fun fact. She turned into a raven to uh, to get her to follow her into the forest, where she then kidnapped her afterwards. God damn it, Yuna! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah. But you don't follow a random ass bird. God damn her. And now, we're here. I know. Live and it's... local. Out here. In this bitch. Oh my god. Hard as fuck. Shut. Yeah.